Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie A. Stoley and I like to do home decorating and um, I don't know what else is going to be on this yet. I'll just tell you, um, I'm new at this. I did a couple videos uh, before Christmas and I thought I was moving and if you watch those you can probably tell that here I am still so we actually have not listed our house yet so things just keep changing um, I came out here I know it's a little noisy but I just love the birds and it just tells me spring is here so I wanted to give you a little update of what's going to be happening on my channel um, today I am going to at least give you a dining room spring decor. Um, and then here's some of the things that are coming. So we are getting ready to list our house. I would imagine within four weeks, it'll be on the market. So I am a certified stager. I used to do that as a business. I actually do none of my other businesses except real estate um, any longer, but you know, I, I do have the background now and I just wanted to use that to help you as I stage this house to be sold. And so I'll do a series. I think I'll probably go through every single room and I'm excited to do it um, because I'm also an interior decorator and um, the two can clash. Interior decorators have a tendency to want to go for a whole lot of um, flair and perhaps things that are a little too trendy sometimes. It's not a good idea when you're staging a home. So uh, you want to get the most buyers interested and not turn people off with, you know, I don't know. I mean, the first thing that's coming to my mind is a couple years ago. I don't know. Maybe it's been four years or more. The color of the year was this really deep purple and they were making appliances in it not refrigerators and things but like your KitchenAid mixer and things and while they're beautiful um walking into a home with a lot of really deep purple pillows and things it could have turned a lot of people off that's kind of what i'm talking about you just want to avoid and here i go i'm like already going into that it's so easy for me to slide right into something like that. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna be decorating for spring, telling you what I would or wouldn't do as far as um, if this was for just me versus listing the house. The good news for us is in uh, our area, and we are sitting right here on the lake, um, houses, don't last a day on the market and you'll have multiple offers. So I hope that's the same case for us. Um, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about my decor because a lot of times it's just like location, 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 and the fact that you have a house that's solidly built. So that's number one, staging to sell. And number two will be um, decorating for spring. Um, right now I'm standing on our partially, well, the patio part is covered. So I'm on my patio that's covered. And um, then we have a little bit of a deck that's uncovered. And again, um, being on the lake, you, 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 this needs to be inviting. And right now it is so blah. It's, um, I still have a let it snow out here. And um, it's just kind of sad. Um, I'm getting very close to the time where I'll be able to buy some live plants, which will, you know, I didn't think we were going to be able to do that. I thought, honestly, all the mums I had are dead. <laughs> but I had those because I thought we were going to list the house in October. So anyway, it's kind of like I should have, I should have been filming this all along to kind of show you where we were headed with that. But um, so I'll be doing... Uh, spring decor out here for sure and um, I'm going to start in the house in my dining room and my kitchen and then I'll go room by room there too. I don't know that I'll have a lot of, uh, in fact I can be very honest, I won't have 
any decor, spring decor in the bedrooms, maybe the master and the master bath, just because that's us. But if you're selling your house, you don't need to be decorating for spring. You just need uh, in the in in the bedrooms. I would still do something on your, you know, porches. Okay, and then third. Um, Oh gosh, this is one of the most exciting. I cannot tell you how many videos I have done on my own and then I've had my husband um, film of our new home that we've been building for almost two years. And honestly, the project, I would say, goes back almost eight years ago now. Um, I'm sorry, hold on. Phoebe, stop. Will that work? Probably not, but she's a good watchdog. Um, oh, come on out here, honey. There's nothing going on. Come on. <clears throat> so we're within, I'd say, eight weeks of moving in. Um, we were there yesterday, and um, part of the main floor flooring was being laid. There's no painting that's uh, that has been done on that floor. The upstairs, uh, the painting's done, and the lower level, the painting is done except our um, bar area, but the floor's in. So I can kind of feel, and the floors are in in all the bathrooms. So I can kind of feel like we're getting very close, and um, we've started ordering furniture. I mean, we're using a lot of our old furniture that's in storage, but not everything. We're going to sell this house furnished because, again, on the lake, that's how people like it. Um, very likely the buyer is going to be an out-of-town buyer who wants a vacation home. And honestly, you can't get furniture right now. So to be able to offer something that's furnished is a huge bonus to somebody looking to buy because we're finding out we're not being able to get our first picks because they don't know when they're even going to be back in stock again. That's a disappointment. But anyway, so uh, we will be starting uh, to visit that and I'm going to go through all of the videos I have and see if I can put something together. Unfortunately, the last one my husband did was terrible. It was flashing in and out. And I don't know. I don't know. I may have to have my daughter film. But anyway, um, we want to take you in there. There's some really, really unique architecture. Uh, the views are amazing. Um, I'm going to be decorating the lower level in a British West Indies. That's one of my most favorite styles, but it won't be totally true to that because some aspects you can't really find in that, um, but it'll, do, it'll definitely have that flair. And then the main floor, Let's just say I am not a neutral girl. Um, if you've ever visited my blog, which I, another thing I'll be updating very soon, hopefully this week, uh, my blog is yourhomeyourhappyplace.com. So I got off track, here I am back. <laughs> if you haven't visited me on yourhomeyourhappyplace.com, that is a lifestyle blog I've had for about six or seven years. I have not been updating it in a very long time, but that's about to change. Things are changing, things are moving. My husband just retired and we are almost, like I said, getting ready to move into our dream home. And I just know that all of the things that I've been putting off for the last several years, just due to life, um, I'm gonna get the opportunity now to, um, really put my heart into and I'm very excited about it. So I don't know where I stopped before, but I believe what I'll be talking, oh, I know, hello. It was about color. So while I watch, I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, I subscribe to a lot of channels. I love watching other people decorate, even though I'm an interior decorator. Um, my philosophy on decorating is, uh, well, it's on my blog, the specific quote I have, but it's basically tossed the rules out. Um, you know, 
your home is supposed to be your happy place, not a magazine's happy place. You know, if you picked up some people and put them in a different environment and it's like, oh, it's so perfectly decorated, they won't, they won't be happy because it's not their feeling. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really, really tried when I was an interior decorator professionally to encourage people. Um, I would encourage them in their in their choices, first of all, because people that are not in that profession think that they're not qualified to make decisions about their home when in fact, it's the decorator's job to find what it is that they love and be able to help them have confidence in being able to say it. And because if you say what somebody else wants you to say, Again, you're not going to be happy. So anyway, um, my aesthetic is not what's ever on trend. It never will be. I may take something that's on trend and use it. Um, but what I will see is everybody jumps in on some trend and two, three years later, it's out and it's Especially if you've done something permanent in your house, ouch. Talk about dating your home, talk about losing finances. <laughs> I mean, if you wanna bring in, like we were talking about earlier, that deep purple, again, do it in something that's, you know, your kitchen towels or, you know, some florals. Just don't change your tile or something to that, unless, unless you love deep purple and you're not planning on moving. If you're planning on moving, I would still be careful, you know, but anyway, my tastes in uh, decor, I would say, <laughs> I, if you're familiar with the designer, Lily Pulitzer, that would be me. Her uh, clothes, her fabrics, that's, I mean, I just, I could eat it up. I just love it. I love the color. So what you're gonna see in our new house, at least on the main floor, is some really bright uh, pops of color or whole rooms full of color. And they're bold choices. Um, choices that you may go, oh yeah, well, that's what a decorator would do. But you know, it's it's who I am. Um, I'm just not that, I could never, I hate brown, I hate brown, I hate tan, I hate taupe. It's, it's just, if, if you put me in a taupe world, I couldn't make it. But anyway, so we're gonna go through, golly, all those decorating wallpaper, you know, just trying to pull that house together. And then lastly, I know this sounds like a lot, we decided to buy a small house again in the St. Louis area. I mean, it's so much easier in life to own just one house, um, but real estate is always a good investment, always. Well, that's my opinion as a realtor. <laughs> Maybe it's not, if you're not buying the right thing. What we ended up doing was building a house. Uh, there were reasons for that. One of them was that um, you couldn't even get a a house like if if you went to bid on a house there would be five other bidders and you'd pay over w the asking which means you're not getting a good deal it's not a good investment if you're paying twenty thousand more than the house is really worth so um if you buy a house at least where we live you know how much you're paying for that house when you buy it i understand from other people in other parts of the country that you um you sign a contract, but you don't exactly know how much it's gonna cost until the house is done. So that's a little frightening. But anyway, we, uh, sorry, there's a truck. There's a lot of trucks over here right now on the lake. I think they're repairing some gravel roads for dock access, but um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so we built a small home uh, it does have a basement though, so in time we may finish it, but it's brand new too. So I'm gonna do some video on that, especially um, outdoor landscaping. I mean, right now it's all mud. 
so we're gonna put us we have it's not a big yeah it's not a big lot the backyard literally is probably the size of this patio and deck it's so small um, but the front yard and the side yard is kind of big so uh, I don't want a whole lot of maintenance so anyway okay that said and I'll be finishing this video with some kind of decor I don't know what but I just wanted you to know that that's where this is headed I have a whole lot of um, upcoming changes it's just a lot I'm going to be um, I haven't I've, I've been working on some of this stuff for a while but I haven't launched any of it so I'm gonna have some shops at least one on Etsy. I already have links to my Zazzle stores and that, but I have not been um, filling them with product. And I also have um, an Amazon affiliate shop. I have um, some things that I have produced on um, Amazon KDP. So I have a lot of things. I'm, I love graphics and um, I'm actually probably going to put a link below to my most favorite graphic software that I use and have been using for the past six years. Um, I use it for everything. Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you it's Canva. Um, and so I'll see if I can actually get an affiliate link today because I used to ask them for one and there wasn't such a thing they would tell me, but I just saw that there is and I use them for I've been using him for a baby, like my daughter's baby shower, first baby shower. So that's how long ago, cause he's gonna be six. So seven years ago, I guess. I designed all those. I've designed them for each successive baby shower uh, for my uh, daughter-in-laws. Um, I do my Christmas cards. I do all the graphics for my blogs. Um, I just can't even tell you. I mean, all the things that I sell um, and that will be f in the future Etsy spot, but like the things I make on Zazzle, I design there. So I use it for everything. And um, even my real estate, everything I do, if it is a visual, I design it on Canva. I am a pro member, but that is like, $12.95 a month, and that's not a lot of money to get all of that benefit. I can't even tell you if you like to do that. If you don't like to do it, it's not for you, but if, if they make it so easy. You can make art for your home instead of, you know, buying something. Um, now, yeah, you can go to Etsy and buy somebody else's, but I mean, you can create your own stuff. You can upload your own things, up upload your pictures and add them to stuff. You can animate things. Uh, it's just so great, guys. So um, if you do wanna help support my channel, and I do have that link, and I don't know if, right now if I will, click on it and get a free trial. Try it out, see what you think. You don't have to do the um, paid program. It is free. There is a whole area that's free and you can even use it um, to create things to sell in the free mode. So there's no reason not to sign up. Anyway, I will see you later in this video for some spring decor. I'm back. <laughs> As promised. Okay, let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna try and pull this with me. Um, so this is my dining room. Um, I just, I had some stuff in here I wasn't happy with for staging the house. It was very fall-like. It was never even my flavor. I don't know why I, I bought it. I have a feeling I bought it to stage somebody else's house. But a lot of times as a stager, then you keep that stuff. So anyway, a lot of my things are in storage. So it's really been tough uh, to decorate and enjoy what I'm doing. Um, but I've found some things. And so I'm going to share that with you real quick. Let me put my cleaning supplies down. Okay. 
Um, let's walk. Let's walk. Let's show you what I have. Let's see. How does this work? Okay. I'll just stand. I'll put this here and I'll just pull things up. So, um, well, to begin with, I layer my table. I did a, a blog about, I don't know, four years ago. I think I'm going to go grab it um, tonight and freshen it, refresh it, and re um, republish it. Um, I think it is called something like seven layers of decorating. So, um, which I don't know if this one will turn out to be that, but we'll see. So I'm going to start with a table runner. I love the wood on my table and, uh, I always protect it. Um, if I have a table runner and placemats for people, um, overall, usually I'm pretty safe in protecting the table without having to put a tablecloth on it. I, I, I will use a tablecloth if I need to, but a lot of times, you know, if you love that wood look and you love the way the table looks, <clears throat> not to mention, I leave my table set all the time. I just love that. That, that makes me happy. Some people are like, oh, I've got to make my bed first thing in the morning. Good. Um, but for me, this is, this is my, I got to make my bed <laughs> first thing in the morning. I like my table set all the time. And it doesn't mean I can't sit there and eat. Um, I may have to pick up the things and um, wipe them off, you know, at, at the sink because maybe they got dusty. But I just love that. And honestly, you're always ready to entertain. So the very first layer I have um, this is a, uh, it's a burlap, actually. I'd call it burlap. Um, runner, I've had this for several years. I love the edging on it. And it just, it goes season to season. I have this out at, well, maybe at Christmas I might put a sparkly one out. But it would go at Christmas for the ca a more casual look. I am quite certain I bought it at TJ Maxx because... TJ Maxx, at least where I live, has more table runners than even the home goods. It's like certain places have certain things more. So we're going to, after I clean out the table, we'll go with that. And why am I choosing this green? Again, it's it, green goes with anything because, you know, God gave us grass and leaves on trees. And then he puts all the colors with it. So I know it does. So it's a nice base for any anything and I have excuse me I'm gonna cough <coughs> I have these chairs which I'll do a close-up later of I bought at home goods years ago I, I guess they're kind of a French country yellow and cranberry plaid uh, and then they have some floral little bit of floral on them but mostly green vines so that pulls that color in because I'm really not using that color in in this tablescape at all okay so the next thing is my, my, if I'm really, this would be my first layer. This um, is the place or placement that I chose. Again, it's burlap. I love this for summer. I love the pleating on it. I got these at Hobby Lobby. It says $4.99 on it. So it was 40% off. You can figure that out. Um, I just think these are beautiful. So that'll be my first layer. My second layer, this is very odd to me. Um, I was looking to do green and pink. Green and pink are probably my most favorite color combinations in the world. I love it and um, you'll see it in my new house. So I found these, let's see the warning is, you know, I know you're not supposed to eat on these for sure. Um, yeah, hand wash only, not intended for food use. I mean, to me, this is a charger. Uh, it's plastic, and um, it's an odd choice, you know, to put all this on a charger, to me, because a charger is the base for your plate. But, and I wasn't really, I love birds, and I have a whole lot of bird stuff in my, um, arsenal of decor that's in storage, but that's not where I was headed. I mean, I could have, but I already, yeah, it's, it's bunnies, it's rabbits, but I loved the green and pink in this. So, uh, these were, there's no price on that. 
Oh, yeah, it's on there. I'm just not seeing it. $4.99. So, same as the uh, other piece. It was 40% off. So, this will be layer number two. <laughs> and then I was actually, I found these plates online at Walmart. Um, actually, I was looking for something to go with some bowls I bought it. Uh, that are uh, really a deep blue, but they had some really gorgeous other colors in them uh, for my kitchen. And then my kitchen, I ended up finding in my storage area um, my lemons. So I went ahead and went lemons in the kitchen. So when I found uh, these, I went looking around for something to go on top and I found these. So these are Pioneer Woman. They are, they remind me on the back, you know, reminds me of milk glass. I know it's not, but it, it, it has that creamy um, China feeling. And um, I cannot tell you how much they were. I felt like online they were around $8. I feel like I ended up paying 10 in store. Um, one of the bad things I say about the new, I mean, I don't know what it's like where you live, but in where we live, you have to check yourself out. They don't keep checkers anymore. And then if there's a price discrepancy and you have, you know, you have somebody come help you. Oh, we can't help you. We don't know. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, that's, they're counting on you to go ahead and buy it because you wanted it. Uh, that happened with us on a large purchase item. It was a TV was like a $40 difference. And it was just like, wow. Now it happened to me on something else the other day. And it was a young man and he goes, well, was there a sign? And I said, well, it's right over there. It's not a sign, it's the price. I mean, it wasn't on sale, it's the price. He just keyed it in and gave me what I said it was. So just pursue it. Don't be in a hurry and walk away. Anyway. So those are beautiful. I didn't talk about how beautiful the scalloping is. I love those. So those will serve as my, basically my luncheon plate. I mean, I could put something else in the center, but in this case, I won't be. Next, um, I'm gonna go with napkins. Uh, oh. So in the past, my chargers and my napkins and my napkin rings, I would have always bought at Pier 1. They were king of the hill for that and i miss them so much and i was worried about who's going to fill that in i'll tell you i was at kirkland's um a couple of months ago and i picked up some then they were maybe they were brass or something and maybe that's what had had to do with it but i picked up some napkin rings and they were i don't know they're 5.99 or 7.99 a piece and i'm like whoa I have bought napkin rings for years. I have a huge collection of napkin rings. Very unusual ones from Beer One. They were, you know, the most they ever were for very exotic ones would be $2.99 a piece. But most of the time they were $1.99. So what I am finding is that Hobby Lobby is filling in the gap nicely. So beautiful napkin, love the trim. This came in other pastels. In fact, I picked them up in yellow as well. I don't think I picked that, put that one out. Um, and I think they might've come in a blue. I think those were the three colors. So they're cloth. Um, I love them. And of course, they're going to look gorgeous with that. And then the napkin ring was a fun one. I, uh, like I like bold jewelry. Um, I used to work at Chico's and they have really bold jewelry. I also like a bold, I love a bold statement. I mean, if you're gonna do minimal, minimal, minimal all over your table, nothing's going to, you know, you need some things to just go, oh, oh, wow, take your breath away, right? Isn't that, the, isn't that why we decorate? To take our breath away? When we walk in our room and go, oh, that makes me so happy. So, <laughs> so I tried several different ones and I ended up with this. I don't even know. I gotta see if it tells you what it thinks it is. Yeah, no, it just says hand wash, napkin rings, spring. I don't know what flower that is. I don't think it's a hydrangea. In fact, I think they had something that was a hydrangea. So I don't know what it's supposed to be. 
I just love it. I love the color. I love the layers. I mean, it's just beautiful. And again, um, it looks semi good. Now see, this is way more line than this. And it is way more line than this. Oh, however, I think you can already see how beautiful those two are gonna go together. So sometimes you just gotta test it out. And I didn't even have this plate with me. I took a risk. But don't forget, and I've already pulled one of the napkin rings or napkins through. Don't forget you're gonna have something behind it to break it up. So it, it'll look great. All right, what do I have next? Um, I know I have a whole collection of these somewhere. Somewhere in storage, but I didn't have them. Um, egg cups. You could, you could do all kinds of things with these. Um, if you're having people over for Easter, um, you could use fake ones or you could use hard boiled eggs and, you know, make a cardboard thing with their name on it. That's a cutout of something cute or just go ahead and use some kind of marker or, you know, something on it with their name on it for a place card. That's a great idea. Um, you could just put little Christmas or um, Easter candies in it, nuts, whatever. Doesn't have to be an egg holder. I did, <clears throat> my husband found one box of Easter decor in our attic. So I did find some of my old eggs. Um, I have them in four colors, pink, white, um, blue, and green. And then I bought, I always buy 12 of things just in case. If I'm, because we love to entertain, so I would die if I had to, I wouldn't die, but I would be really discouraged if I had this beautiful table for 12 people and I didn't have everything. And even if you separate, if you have to do a six and a six, it, unless you want to do a totally different theme, it's so nice that everybody has the same. So I always buy six, uh, 12. So I bought these and I also bought blue. I'm just not using blue this time. I wanted to keep my options open for the future. What else do I have? Um, I'm gonna be using my crystal. Um, this is Waterford crystal that I, I can't remember. I wanna say it's Marquise by Waterford, but I bought these at um, Home Goods. They sell boxes of some of the finest crystal. They sell a lot of Irish crystal. I just love crystal, so. Okay, let's go over here. <clears throat> I think I'm catching my husband's cold. Oh, is the light? Okay. All right, what else do we have? So normally I probably wouldn't put um, pillows in the chairs. One thing is these two chairs I'm talking about here, I'll uncover this one so you can see it. Um, they're actually, they're not dining room height. So you would have to, you would have to sit on something. Uh, which would be really awkward to sit on a pillow like this, but whatever. I use it for decor right now. We're not having Easter here. No one will be eating here. Um, we're actually selling the house, but I fell in love with these. I wasn't sure where I was going to be using them. Um, I went ahead and bought two. These are from TJ Maxx. Um, Primrose Vintage Decorative Pillow. Love it. Um, they were $20. Things are getting a little more expensive even at our discount places. This would have been $16.99 last year. I know it would have. But I, so I accidentally put one in here and I thought, oh, those colors are great. So I am gonna use it there. Okay, what else? This is old, um, had this for many years. I love that it's height high. I love distress. I love shabby chic. I'll always be a shabby chic girl. Um, so this is gonna be utilized. And then, oh, I found the World of India at TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago. Um, price tag, this was really decent. This is 19. Um, there's a metal base. And then we've got these cute bodies. And what would I do with this? I mean, definitely you could put some desserts on it if you wanted. You could also use it for cheese and uh, salamis or something. I mean, you know, just imagine whatever you wanted to put up there. You can find, you could even use it if, if you were going to use it in your kitchen or something near your sink, you could be putting your, 
you know, your soap and cloths or something on it or your oils by your stove. I mean, there's many things you could do with this, but um, I'm going to just probably just have it as a decor piece, um, maybe on my buffet here. It's not really a buffet, but whatever. Um, and then what else have I got? Oh, another piece from that. I have a third piece that I just grabbed and took into my kitchen area because I don't know what I'm going to do, but okay. So this one's got little feet on it that are metal and then the two little bunnies. I mean, this is totally made for a charcuterie board. I mean, it's a small one, but still, isn't that great? Or, I mean, you can come up with lots of ideas. Okay, what else have I got? Um, this is way in the past. Maybe it dates, maybe it's dated. I'll never grow tired of it, which is what I wanna say. You know what? You love something, use it. Because somebody else, I watch people on my on videos all the time go to the thrift store. What somebody else was tired of or thought was dated, they grab it and they just embrace it. They're so thrilled. So if you love it, use it. So I have had these. I've got these for different seasons. Uh, my Christmas ones are just as cute and I've had them for years. They were from Pier 1. I can't tell you. I feel like they were $4.99 way back when I bought them, if you can believe that. It's a beautiful nest with a beautifully uh, woven um, grapevine, three little eggs, and then some flowers. I love these. And so a lot of times those would be in the center of my plate. But when we found the um, box, I'd already bought all these other things and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work for that this time. So it's fun. I'm gonna find another way to display these. Um, well, I don't know where I left off. My phone stopped working because it's only two months, three months old and I'm out of storage already, which means I have to upload some things. It also means I've got a lot of new grandbabies and I get a lot of videos. Um, okay. I know I didn't do these. Um, I have bought these. These are those live wreaths. So it's real boxwood. And um, you kind of have to spray it now and then. It won't last forever, I'm sure. But these are about, gosh, I don't know, at least three to four years old. Um, they were looking a little peaked and I um, watered them down about a month ago and they look like they've come back to life. But anyway, they have a ring on the back. Typically I have these tied on the back of my um, uh, bar stools, but uh, I don't wanna do that since the house is on the mar gonna be on the market. This, is, this would be one of the things that I wouldn't do. But I was trying to think, you know, could I use it like this? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but they were sitting out. So I decided to grab those and then, um, I love this. Let me give you a hint. You know, first of all, I like a curated home. I do not like, um, I mean, we all go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby every season. And of course, everybody will use their things differently. So that kind of makes it a little more interesting. But, you know, I really would encourage you to get outside of that box and every now and then go to some other places. So here's an idea. If you go to some places, um, I don't know if these are nationwide, but Furniture Row is a good place because it's a huge showroom. Um, Ashley Furniture Stores, they have decor that they sell and it's not always super high priced. I do not know what I paid for these, but they're super sturdy. There are three stackable trays. You take them out, use them separately. Oh, I so often leave them stacked together. Uh, I have, I would like, they've often been in the middle of this table with maybe um, a floral or something inside of it. Anyway, I kind of think what I'm gonna do with them already kind of know, because I all, most of the time they're propped up like this in a space that I don't really have much decor for. And they add texture, interest, and they're functional which is one of the things I really like about 
uh, decor. If you can find decor that is actually functional and isn't always just like set out for a feeling, but there's nothing you're really going to do with it. Like, I don't know. I was watching somebody today and, and she was hanging a basket um, at the door and she put some fake flowers in it, which is, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But she was like saying, as if I just went out to the garden, picked them. Well, in my mind, I want the garden and I want to go out and pick them, <laughs> which I'm hoping to have at my new house. So, um, but yeah, that wouldn't be practical to hang in your house. If you're going to pick flowers, you want them in water. So, um, it's her, her idea is better. <laughs> it just, but it just made me think I, I don't like to, when I do a fake thing like that, it's, it's like, I, but I want to do the real thing. Was so excited to share um, this. I've had this for years. I would encourage you, unless you're just a fantastic um, flower arranger, which I, I mean, that would be my next career. If I could do something like this, I would love. Um, and this, this doesn't look hard. I study them and I think, yeah, I could do that. But you gotta come up with the idea. I mean, look at this. Isn't that beautiful how they put the little tucks of, that wasn't on there. Whoever did this got this. and. Anyway, so I had this uh, place, you know, years ago. I've got, I was standing here and I could see three arrangements that I bought. Never inexpensive, but I would go there at every season and find something. Um, I love, love this. And honestly, we pulled this out of storage and it was messed up. And it's absolutely, I just spread it out and it's all perfect again. So this is old, but I'm going to use this. So I'm going to see how far I can get, you know, I'll do a real quick, I won't, I won't have, I'll clean without being on the camera and then I'll turn it on really quick to set the table and try and get it together because I don't think my can't, my uh, phone's going to let me do much. Otherwise I would love to do that. tags off later. I'll just set it real quick because my camera's being so finicky or my phone. I have to say these do have the smell of burlap. <laughs> you, I don't know if you could, if you know what that smells like, but there, it has a definite odor to it. It's not bad. It's not overwhelming. I have allergies so bad. My eyes cry. People think I'm crying. I didn't take anything for that today. Sniffing and coughing and everything. I apologize. Okay, first layer. Ta da! <laughs> Second layer, my chargers. I mean, honestly. When you can find a charger like this, these have the feel. If you've ever bought them, I have lots of these. I also, I may be the queen of a lot of things. Queen of chargers, napkin rings. <laughs> but these have the feel of the dollar store ones. They're basically a, a plastic. And you typically will see them in, you know, at Christmas, you'll see them in red and gold and green. Um, so I've never seen them with a print on them before, which that's new. And what I was going to say is, my goodness, you wouldn't even have to build if you can see, not, I know you can't see it real up close, but that's already pretty as a table setting. But again, there, I have to draw some more of this stuff together. This is lime. It has a definite different color, even though there's different greens in here. It's not, 
is not pretty yet, but you have to just keep going and you'll pull it together. I'm also not going to take the stickers off of these. These have little plastic stickers, but I just want to get it made so that we can see it. And then, um, okay, that's layer number three. I, I'll have to, like I said, I will revisit my blog tonight and um, update it and republish that one. Um, it's, it's not seven layers of decorating. It was, and it might even not be seven. It might be five layers, but it was about tablescape. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. You know, I love when things like this happen. Okay, this is take 15. <laughs> My phone said it was out of storage. It has taken me hours of deleting, deleting, and then finding out that I have to go in and find the recently deleted and delete to, and for, in order for that to work. So here we go. I don't know where I was. I think I was on... I'm gonna say, start here. I was all excited to tell you about, you know, the theory or the design tip of repetition, that it just, I don't know, it just pulls a room together more. And so once I laid this out, and this happens to me all the time, um, the scallops on these plates and the pleats on the um, placemats kind of have, uh, a repetitive feel to them. So, and then there's the resting spot of the plate in the middle. Okay. Well, so we were on layer three. I was, I'm trying to get back to life here. It's just, it, it's really upsetting. Um, okay. I have one of these and actually I made the others. I'm going to grab them. these is literally just grab, uh, open them up, open them up full, fully. Okay, I'll just show you real quick. There's no special thing. See, open it up fully, go to the center, pull it through, and then I pull a good amount through, and then I puff it like so. I know I'm a little ways away from the camera, but hopefully you can see that. And then just make sure that if you haven't cut your tags off, um, that uh, they're not showing. Tuck them, tuck them a little bit. Some people get intimidated when they show up to eat and you've got cloth napkins. I've had that happen in the past, but honestly, it's more conservative to wash something than to just use paper and throw it away. So in the long run, if you use them enough, it's also less expensive. Okay, that was layer, let's see, one, two, three, four, I guess. So maybe this table's only got four layers. I'm going to put out my little egg cups. Actually, I'm going to put my, let's see, I'm going to put my goblets out first so that I can work around them. So I Put those on the right side, tuck them in. But as I was saying before, see they end up on the um, runner and then I end up with a protected table. And doesn't mean somebody might not put their glass out on the table, but most likely they'll be more careful and they won't. Okay, that tells me, yeah, I was gonna put the egg cups in front of the um, plates, but I really wanted to see. Okay, now, so you've got pink and green. So, put a pink there. I have to do every other if I can. I don't know if that, how that's gonna work out. It might not work out. Green. Oh. No, one's gonna have to be from each other. No, oh, okay, that works out. Pink and green, pink and pink across from each other, green and green. Grab my eggs. There's a blue egg. Uh, 
um, how do I put a different color egg in each? If I, yeah. Hopefully that works down here too. I didn't want to put a green egg in a green cup, if that makes sense. And I don't want to put a pink egg, so yeah, it worked. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. Still have a lot of stuff over there to play with it. Um, okay, let me set. Oh, and here's the blue, in case you didn't get to see, because I didn't show you, so. Here was the blue one I didn't use. And in my little drawer, I also have my yellow napkins that I bought but I'm not using for this tablescape. Okay, let me tuck these items away. Um, I'm gonna put my tulips on the table. I'm going so excited, ouch. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna move that cup over. I really want them in the center. And then this here, and I'll show the table really quick because I don't know how much storage I have on my phone. Let me take it off. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, so here's things I have left over. Um, and then this is by Pie Safe. Is that what they call it? No, that's not what it is called. I can't think of what we call these right now. Oh dear. Anyway, this is before, and I will um, just use what I have over there real quick and see what I can pull together. It's not gonna be perfect. Because uh, I don't have all the items that I would like. But at least it'll be a, a beginning. And then I'll do a spring home tour uh, in a week. And you'll see everything pulled together. I already said I had a pretty good idea what I was going to do with these. Ugh. Okay. They will not fall. They pretty much live their life stacked like this somewhere. No, I've never had them up here. Okay, I like that. Uh, I usually have plates in here, uh, but I only bought enough of these plates. I know, I just said before I buy everything for 12. I did not buy 12 chargers and 12 green plates. And even if I had, the chargers would be too big for here. Um, so, I'm gonna play. Honestly, I love this. <laughs> I love it. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, goodness. I wish, I don't want to put too many florals. Um, I was watching somebody's YouTube video today, and, and she was doing her dining room, and it looked more like, and I'm not trying to be mean, honestly, I promise. I'm just saying, 
she had so many flowers out um, here. There were no plates, and I thought, it's really pretty, but it looks like um, a potting room, you know? It just, that's what it reminded me of, so I couldn't help but say it. Oh my gosh, I ha oh, I do have the prices on this still. Haha, uh -huh. I don't always use them all, so it, I was wrong. They're not $4.99, they were $6.95. But back at that time, I was a professional decorator and I got a decent discount here. So anyway, what I was getting ready to say is, I believe that some of the shops have little bitty bitty, about the size of those um, egg cups. They have um, little pots with a little tulips in them, maybe two little tulips. That would be so cute here. Um, what else would be cute here? I mean, if you don't have plates, what else could you put? I mean, I'm doing this and it works. I mean, it's got the color, it's got the texture, it's got the season. I love it. However, I've just done exactly what I said that other person shouldn't do. Because <laughs> right now, I have greenery, 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 greenery. So I need to pull this in and make it uh, look more like a, a dining room. So I am going to put, for sure, this little guy over here. And if I had a, you know, I would love, like if I was showing the house, I'd probably have um, a block of cheese and a, a little knife and some crackers. But I don't have that and I'm not showing the house right now. So for now, I'm not somebody who's gonna decorate a board or something with a bunch of stuff on it. That's, first of all, if you're staging a home, don't do that. Um, you wanna imply imply entertaining. So that's what I'm doing. I'm implying entertaining with this because that's exactly what I would do with it. What else have I got? Well, I mean, I have these salt and pepper shakers. I really don't know that they, um, hmm. I mean, that's just, no. Oh dear. No. As much as I love these, I'm not going to use them. I mean, I, here. Can I put them on the table? Absolutely. Do I need them there? No. Are they taking away from the table? Yes. They just don't belong here. They're really cute. I'm putting them in my butler's pantry for right now. My goodness, I'm so dry. Okay. Aha, aha, aha. This, this doesn't look dining room, but it's definitely Shakes it up a bit. I'm gonna put this guy right here. I think that's perfect. So that shelf is done. This shelf is done unless I could find something that's more like China related to go up here. And then I, I'd like to do one or two more things. I don't want too much. I don't want too much. Um, I do have, I have two candles here. I don't have any candle stick holders. Um, or candle holders. I have this candle, which I can put. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you about these another time. I, it's just, it's a lone candle. It wouldn't make sense to put it back here because you can't light it underneath here. So I'm not, I'm not loving that either. So I don't see a reason to put a candle here. So it's not going to happen. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm kind of done for now until I can find something else. So let's look at this piece. If you can. Here, I'm gonna show you, I've got, a, I'm keeping this on here. This is a really hard way to look at that, but okay, this is a gorgeous piece. It's from Pottery Barn years ago. Um, it's gorgeous. We have used it outside under cover as a bar. It's a bar cart. It does have a towel holder on the other side, uh, iron, and then it's got these cagey, oh, you can't see that down there. I'll pull one up. It's got these drawers in it. They come all the way out, so they open from either side. Um, and then um, storage underneath and a big, big iron wheel. I don't know if that moves or not. And I forgot to say, let me tuck this down a little lower. 
I can. There was, um, I had a runner out already. I found this runner also at TJ Maxx. It's got the little bunny on it. I do love, oh, I didn't even know it. It's really embroidered, not just painted on there. Okay, so. Um, I mean, okay, I usually leave this out mainly because, what is it? It's a um, my glycerin ball. <laughs> it is a wine decanter. So you pour the wine over this and it aerates it. You're supposed to put this in um, a freezer. Supposedly it doesn't freeze because there's glycerin in it, but I um, I did it once and it got that precipitate that you just saw in it. So I don't like to do it anymore. Anyway, uh, then it holds the wine here and you put your wine glass underneath and then just lift that and it, it, it's aerated. And I'm telling you what, <laughs> Oh my goodness, we tried with and without, huge difference. So if you have an ordinary bottle of wine, it can kind of taste extraordinary with enough aeration. Um, so we got this at a restaurant called Cooper's Hawk in St. Louis, but I think it's, I think it might be nationwide or something. I mean, they go all over the world on tours and things, so. Anyway, I leave this out. It's a great conversation piece. And of course, if you're having dinner, you know, put the wine in there and people will really enjoy it. Um, so I'm not going to take that away. And I do have a wine um, holder here. It's kind of unusual. I think it's more like a fire bucket, but it really is made for, it's got four pockets for wine in here. So I'm going to leave these two things out and my bunny. And I may put something on there. Um, I'm not going to put something for decor, you know, like... Like I said, um, I'm watching other people and they'll turn this into a whole little vignette right here. And I just don't do that. I, I do this so that I can put food on it. So that's what that's gonna be. The only other thing is I just feel like I need something else. Um, if this wasn't here, I would definitely put um, a lamp. I love a lamp on, a, on something like this. Normally I would have had two. The uh, table that I have in my foyer was over here before. Um, but we were staging the house and I like to change things up. So anyway, I don't know. I love this candle, but it's, it's really, it's in order for this to work, it needs a certain, the scales were off. So this isn't going to work and I don't have anything for these, which also smell wonderful. What are these? Pe Apple blossom pear scented candle. Ooh. And this one was, um, Desert Garden and Spa. I can't remember what's in it. It tells you, I mean, I think it's a fruit thing, but these are from, this one is from Walmart, and I'm telling you what, it's Better Homes and Garden one. They come in a beautiful box. Um, I have some other ones that are yellow on the inside. I can't remember the fragrance. I have not smelled candles. I haven't lit them yet, so I don't know if they smell as good as they, smell lit as good as they smell unlit. But, okay, what have I got left here? I mean, with this thing, you can put some other things down here. I just I remember I'm selling my house. I don't want to overdo. Um, I might put some, uh, what would be nice in here, um, if I was going to do, use this like a bar, I would put some mixed, some alcohol and, and mixers down there and things to mix my drinks. Um, I could also put some napkins and um, spreaders, things that I would use for um, appetizers and things like that. So those are the kind of things that would be in here normally, but I don't really have any of that right now because I packed it up. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. However, I'm gonna grab one thing. I'll be right back. I don't think this is gonna work. grab this too. This is, this is really not going to work, but maybe it will. Oh, maybe it will. I bought these. Oops. They're live in St. Louis. Uh, last time I was in there, 
I just wanted some fresh flowers and fresh flowers got real expensive and these will last. Oh, FedEx is here. I don't remember ordering anything, but whatever, they're gonna ring the, oh my gosh, they're backing into my driveway. What is going on? Oh, they're just turning around? No, they're backing in. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Uh, that was FedEx who's delivering some, um, it looks like a fan, maybe a down rod. I'm not sure, just a whole nother light that I probably ordered eight months ago, if not longer, uh, for the new house. So thank goodness it's coming now. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna be leaving to go to that house in about a half an hour. Um, I won't be able to take any video because of what's going on with my phone, but um, I will get some this week for sure. Anyway, back to this. I think that's all I can do for today. Um, it's, this is not my best work here, but it will survive and it will, it will do, so. Okay, here we go. Here's a little closer look of that. It's just one of my favorite pieces. So we are selling this house with the furniture, but there are certain pieces like this I would never be able to get again. And it's not the most common piece, so I will be taking this with me. And there's my copper wine holder. Those are begonias, and I can plant them outside, I believe. And that's for Cooper's Hawk, who makes this. And you can get this online. I can probably find a link to it um, and put it out for you. I, <laughs> I feel bad here. I've got uh, my cleaning supplies and extra stuff here, but I'll just go ahead and do it like this. Okay. And then we look up there. And definitely needs a little bit more china type items. The very thing. Isn't it always the way you start criticizing somebody else and actually you just did it yourself? Um, and then I'll just uh, close over here with this picture. You know, I believe they still make it. One of my favorites. That is from Kirkland's. And isn't it peaceful and inviting. I mean, you can almost feel that sunshine. So uh, this is my, oh, I have a space over here for a plant. I did have one over here. Um, it's looking a little sad because it was live. I love to have live plants. I believe I'm going to go get one from Lowe's, um, maybe a palm or something that has some height to it. I didn't show you down there. And then we've got some wine down there. So that is it, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know this was long, interrupted, kind of chaotic. <laughs> That's kind of me. Always technical problems. Um, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. I want to grow my channel. Please share me with anybody that you think would enjoy decorating and all the things that I have coming up. Honestly, I am so excited, I can't even tell you, and I will fight through the technology issues. Um, and I can't wait to bring you, you know, I just have so many ideas beyond what I'm gonna do on YouTube. So, um, but YouTube would be a great place for you to start. Um, and that way you get to hear me and we get to kind of connect in that way. I will read your comments. I will answer them. Please be nice. Um, I don't know what else to say, but uh, thank you guys so much. I so appreciate you coming and um, I hope that this inspires you and frees you up to be who you are uh, as you decorate your home and make it your happy place. Talk to you in just a few days. Bye.